If you were in San Francisco and wanted to buy ice cream at the Quickie Mart, you're going to have to wait for an attendant because San Francisco is locking up their ice cream. They're not locking anything else up in the city, just ice cream. Crooks are stealing so much ice cream that the ice cream is now behind bars. You're being punished because now you have to think a little bit longer and a little harder before you buy a box of ice cream Twix. Maybe that's a good thing. Philly, or as we call it, East San Francisco, not doing much better. Just look at Kensington. This is the worst neighborhood in Philly. A new drug hit the streets and it's deadlier than heroin. It's called Trank, and it makes you fall asleep standing up. Vivek Ramaswamy, Republican presidential candidate, toured the neighborhood this spring. It's like an open air drug market in certain places. There was a cop up there, literally just standing beside people exchanging drugs on the street. Some guys doing crack, but what's the cop gonna do about it? Nothing. But Vivek is running for president. He can't do anything about it right now. Who can do something? Drugs are Kamala Harris. Kamala, two and a half years into her job, finally talked about the fentanyl crisis today. And her message? Sniffing narcotics isn't a choice, it's a disease, and that's why we need universal health care. We still have a long way to go in our country to accurately and appropriately talk about what substance use addiction really is. It's a health care issue. We must destigmatize this issue. We must remove judgment from this issue. We must understand that most people don't choose to have a substance abuse disorder. It is not a choice they make where they can then say no. So we went from just say no to drugs to can't say no to drugs. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.